All right, so this video is just going to be looking purely at the economic benefits of multinational corporations. Then there'll be another one on the social, uh, sorry, the economic costs, and then the social and environmental economic costs and benefits. So from an economic benefits point of view, basically the main economic benefit of multinational corporations and the main reason why companies want multinational corporations to be a part of their company or be a part of their operations is that they will create employment. So the size of the business will help to create investment into the economy, which will create jobs, will create training opportunities, and help to reduce the unemployment rate. Then these people that will also create jobs, so will, will get a higher income because of working in the multinational corporation, will spend more money, that will create additional demand and additional revenue for other businesses, and therefore have multiplier effects throughout the whole economy. So multinational con multinational corporations have major economic benefits for co for companies, for businesses, for countries, um, and that can lead to in reduced unemployment because the multinational corporation creates jobs, but then that also flows through to creating employment in other industries as well. Multinational corporations often provide up to 40% better pay than local firms, particularly in developing countries, so it often leads to increase in their material living standards. Because of the size of multinational corporations, they often have lower production costs. So because they're massive, they have take advantage of economies of scale, and therefore they produce cheaper goods and services. So multinational corporations can also improve the material living standards of members of society because they reduce the cost of production for businesses and therefore lead to lower prices. So multinational corporations create jobs. They lead to, they often create better pay. They often lead to cheaper goods and services, they also lead to increased GDP and incomes. Um, they bring foreign investment into companies, countries, and therefore that creates a lot more revenue and a lot more GDP as well. Other things that multinational corporations do is that they often bring with them new ideas, new technology, new ways to do things, this thing called world's best practice, where they bring ideas from their own countries and incorporate them into the labor force, and therefore that leads to increased productivity, particularly in developing countries. So not only do they create jobs, but they also bring better ideas and better technology, which can be used to improve countries' productive capacity. Um, investment in capital equipment can also increase productivity as well. So labor and land resources can become more productive because of the use of better technology and better capital. Other, the last sort of main economic benefit of multinational corporations is that they pay tax on their profits. So they pay tax on their profits, that creates revenue for the government. The government can then use that money on spending on education and training and health or whatever they need it for. It can help to reduce budget deficits, it can help to reduce the size of public sector debt, and that money can then be spent on trying to improve the material living standards and non-material living standards of members of society. So paying company taxes is also another massive benefit of multinational corporations. So higher taxes, higher employment, um, better access to technology, lower prices because of economies of scale, often better pay and conditions are all some of the main benefits of multinational corporations.